So, okay, so we were talking about uh, you working on something. So that's pretty good that you're working on doing the, the, the mixes. Um, is that something that you want to start doing on a, on a regular basis? I mean, I think I'm capable of doing it. So mm -hmm. I like to always challenge myself. Right. So that's one of the things I'll be doing this year is maybe even I'm so nervous about live videos. Uh, and, you know, I just people are very judgmental. And I'm already... You know, you deal with a lot of that as a woman already, so it's hard to put right. yourself out there on purpose for people to judge gotcha. you. Um, so I know you're meeting with DJ Rachel later, and I want to give her a lot of credit for putting her mixes out there, and also DJ Ponfetti. Yes. Those are two of yes. my favorite women DJs right, right yes. now who are just doing it, and um, right. it's there's a lot of input to be had mm -hmm. as a DJ. You can always improve, so... Um, I'm, I'm also learning record box with my new controller. Okay. Uh, I haven't learned Serato yet, so my new controller with record box is uh, definitely something that I want to invest more time and energy into. Gotcha. So okay. I could rock okay. a little better this year. <laughs> All right. Now, you brought up uh, Ray, DJ Rachel DJ Bonfetti. Mm -hmm. Now, the event that you did with, was it, it was both of them, right, in it? No, I wish. Um, Rachel made an appearance, okay. which was a big surprise. Thank you for doing that, by the way. That was awesome. Um, Bonfetti and I had met at the DJ Expo last year. Right hit it off mm -hmm. in a real short amount of time right. um, and we just made it happen she said she was coming to town I was like we need to do a show together right. um, it wasn't like you know the best you know the venue wasn't the best the date wasn't the best it was right. right around the holidays but it was so exciting to work with her thank you Ponfetti for you know doing that with me it just I know it's just great to have yeah. that female energy because yeah. usually you're up there by yourself hoping you're killing mm. it but you know to be she's nasty too I loved every second of being I, I side by her, side with her. I saw her at the uh, the expo also. Yeah, incredible. she's just nasty. Yeah. she's just truly nasty. But so. she's so humble yeah. and sh and she's just so straightforward and mm. real that right. you can't help but love her once you. Now I have a question about her real quick. Um, because I went to the uh, the Entertainer of the Year event at at the was right. it the Wednesday at the at DJ Expo, and she was very to herself, very quiet. But when I see her mix, she turns into a whole different person. Yes. Is that like is that can I is that like a true statement about her? She's very to herself and yeah. I mean, I'd say on a that personal level, like and then when she gets behind it, you know. Yeah, I mean, she obviously has an alter ego too, where you know Ponfetti's yeah. on the stage right, right, right. and you know she rocks her gear from head to toe yeah, and just yes. on point. Like she has an image and she upholds it, and mm -hmm. I just feel like when she's in her element, there's just no stopping her, which right. is something that I love. And I can definitely learn from and appreciate. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you have coming up? Let's go over some of uh, what, what events you have coming up. Something you're really, really... I know we're always excited about every single event that comes. Right, I know. But something like you're like, oh my God, I can't wait for this to come. Well, I can't wait for this weekend. <laughs> okay, what's going okay, on the so weekend? It's my second year at New Hampshire Fashion Week. Ooh, okay, and so okay. I'm going to go up there on Friday. I get to come home on Sunday. I'll spend three days, you know, away, which is always nice. Nice. Um, so I'll be networking. I'll be mm. making my mixes for that, for the fashion runway, which nice, is just, nice, it's exciting nice. to be able to, you know, yeah, 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 see yeah. these people come down in these, well, um, original fashions mm. to your music. And um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, after that, there is uh, Kineticon, the Convivial Fest, which is okay. costumed karaoke. It's a Big, it's like okay. 15,000 people okay. can come through in just a few days. What's a Kineticon? Kineticon and Convivial Fest is like the nightly festivities. Okay. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Interesting. It's awesome. It's okay. so much fun. It's really some unique, creative people who are just letting loose and having fun in their element, which right. is costumed and mm -hmm. they put a lot of time and energy into it. It almost reminds me of like performing in a burlesque show. As a right. burlesque performer, you're, it's all about, you know, your appearance and your costume. So with Kineticon, they and they sing. So if there's like a song attached to their okay. character, um, it's just it could be a lot of fun. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, all right. So let's give me give me the people three things about Stephanie that they wouldn't know watching you on Instagram or Facebook or at an event. The three things you know they could be quirky. They could be something personal that are pretty interesting about yourself. Okay. Um, I keep my family life very personal and off mm -hmm. of Facebook for a lot of reasons. Um, well, that's one. One is that I even have a family. Okay, <laughs> it's like surprise. I've got a family and I have two kids. Oh, um, okay. I'm a lot older than I look, apparently, because everybody's surprised that I've got a, a son who's 24 and my other one is eight. It's um, a big difference. Though. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I didn't really learn how to plan my life well until I was older and a lot of things, you know, right. just, you know, you go with the flow. And so I have two kids and a fiance. Um, okay. 
Another thing is that unless, you know, you just met me recently, I had a viral video experience uh, in 2016. 16 or 15 even? Oh my goodness. I think it was 15. Um, which if you just Google Stephanie Rifkin and mm. bears, <laughs> you'll find out a lot about me, Stephanie actually. Stephanie Rifkin and bears? Yeah, well, the funniest thing is Michelle Obama apparently officiated a wedding for somebody named Stephanie Rifkin. Okay. So that took top priority over the bears. Thank God. <laughs> nice. So you used to Google my name and just bears would pop up everywhere. Um, and a third thing. Hmm. I mean, I've told some people recently, but I really have always aspired to have my own book. Nice. And really just, I feel like, you know, every human has, a, you know, their own story. And we're all right, the star right, right. of our, our own yes, movie yes. and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, you know, we all go through a lot of experiences as women and hard to relate to. So I just kind of yeah. want to open up some doors for women to start talking about nice. certain things. and Inspire. You know, yeah, inspire and, you know, hopefully heal people, Mm -hmm. I guess, because as women, like, we can be amazing people when we get the crazy out. We got to get the crazy out. So, I mean, Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I feel like if we had a better generation of women, we could have a better generation of, you know, even men and kids. And so whatever I can do to help, you know, here I am, reach out to me in any way. See, saving the world. There you go, back at it again. Back at it again. Yeah, I mean, we're only here for a short amount of time. So before I go, I have to have some kind of legacy. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, well, uh, we're going to, again, thank you so much for I'm taking sorry. the time. Sure. Um, we're going to end the, the uh, interview here. So why don't you go over your social media, how can somebody contact you, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, my website is royalbeatsdjs, with an S, dot com. Uh, it's for DJ services. And my Instagram that I've been using is only uh, at DJ Stephanie Stardust. I have a Royal Beats one, not using that one so much. Um, also, Facebook is at Royal Beats DJs, and I myself am Stephanie Rifkin, and you can follow me on Facebook wherever you want. Awesome. Well, I mean, that's it. That's it. Thank that's you so it. much for having me. Thank you guys for stopping in. Again, this is uh, DJ Stephanie Stardust, uh, Connecticut, but she goes everywhere. Um, karaoke. Oh, so real quick, yes. some of the karaoke places that you do, because I know you do oh, some yeah, of them sure. like on a basis. On a, yeah, on I'm a actually holding basis, a contest. Right? I'm really excited. Okay, We're exactly. holding a contest, please, please giving do, away a studio session. Um, so Sunday nights, well, tonight you can re- see me at La Boca in Middletown. On Wednesdays, you can see me at Shays in Manchester. And on Thursdays, you can reach me or see me at Maryland's Pub in Bristol. And that's where we'll be holding a contest to win the studio session. And there you go. So she's on social media. Uh, she's getting ready to drop some mixes. She's going to take over the world. She's going to save it, and she's going to take over the world. God willing. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.